Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. Expecting a cold front to come through the area overnight and on, uh, say, Thursday morning. Uh, it'll be warm coming up tomorrow afternoon after a wet morning. Won't be all day. The second cold front comes in Friday night. That knocks temperatures down. No rain expected right on through the weekend. Some chilly mornings and some uh, cool, mild afternoons. Temperatures start modifying a little bit early next week. Lows in the 50s and highs in the 70s. The more warm, a little warmer and a little more humid as we work on into Wednesday of next week. Watching the cold front up in the northwest Texas. It will get here probably in the triangle during the morning commute being steered by this trough of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And that is what is dragging our cold front, which is in northwest Texas, with that northwest flow into our area coming up tomorrow morning. So the first front coming through uh, in the morning, then we're going to watch another piece of energy rotate around as another cold front comes in as we work on into Friday night. That second front will be the stronger of the two, and that'll bring us a chilly weekend, especially on low temperatures. So this evening looks fairly quiet across the area. And again, through this uh, frontal passage, we're not expecting severe weather and we're not expecting heavy rainfall, but we are watching the potential for a few thunderstorms as the showers uh, start moving on in. If this modeling is correct, roughly after 3 a.m., and then the morning hours here in the triangle will be wet. And with any luck, and if this modeling is correct, we ought to have sunny skies after a wet morning and be able to salvage Veterans Day in Southeast Texas as highs reach, I think, into the mid to upper 70s. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at uh, slightly choppy seas around one to three feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. We'll see southwest, then northwest winds at 10 to 15 knots. Our forecast tonight, a 30% coverage up in the lakes area, lows upper 50s to near 60. You'll see south winds shift northwest. Then for the triangle, we'll keep south winds because the front will not have make has will not make it through until tomorrow morning. So 30% uh, coverage triangle, 50% lakes, and uh, lows in the triangle into the low to mid 60s. Then the front comes through the triangle. We'll see the rain in the morning and then afternoon sun. So it will not be an all-day event. High temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Breezy northerly winds are expected tomorrow afternoon. So for Thursday, a yellow bar day as the front pushes through. We're expecting wet weather in the morning, maybe a few claps of thunder. The front moves east. We'll see decreasing cloudiness through the noontime hour and should see abundantly clear skies during the afternoon as the winds pick up out of the northwest. Otherwise, a chilly morning on Friday. This is not a strong front. 76 on Friday with lots of sun. Stronger front comes in Friday night, and after that front comes through Saturday, a chilly morning and a cool afternoon expected. The dry weather continues through Sunday after a chilly morning. A mild afternoon expected on Sunday with very low humidity. Early next week, temperatures modify a bit. It'll still remain dry with lows in the 50s, highs in the 70s under mostly sunny skies. By the middle of the next week towards Wednesday, you start seeing those lows creep back in the 60s. That means moisture is moving on in. Breezy southeasterly winds, higher humidity, and increased cloud cover expected by Wednesday night ahead of another cold front, maybe a week from Thursday or Friday. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.